I did absolutely no preparation for this video. I'm coming straight from the game just having finished up. I'm going to give you my completely like hot take reactions. Um, if you don't know, Thunder just beat the Spurs. Uh, SJ 42, 8, 4, 13 and 20 shooting. Career high 6 of 11, 3. Uh, the 42 points is also a career high. Um, I'm all over the place. I'm supposed to be studying for an exam right now. I have to finish the exam by midnight, and it's currently 10.22 for me right now. It's an hour-long exam, so I've got like 30 minutes to study. Um, I do not care. This video needs to get out. The people need to know. The people need to see this. Uh, Lou Dort, game-winning three. 16.77. He hit two, I think he might have hit, three. no, was, I think it was only two threes. No, it had to have been three threes, because he hit two back-to-back. Game-winning three. SGA diversion. Al Horford kicks his Dort in the corner. Three. Falls over, game winner. This team is fun as hell. If you are not watching Thunder games, you are not watching good enough basketball because this team is fun as hell. Are we that good? No, not really. We're not playing very well. But is this team fun as hell? Yes. And the fact that we have one nationally televised game for the second half of the season with zero in this first half of the season is a felony and the NBA and Adam Silver should be arrested for that. This is unreal. This team is amazing. I love Al Horford, by the way. Al Horford is amazing. I love watching Al Horford play basketball. I just have so much fun. Uh, he just does everything fundamentally, and he makes it look so easy, even though he moves at like the speed of a snail sometimes. He's like Jokic. Like, Jokic moves slow and just makes things happen. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't, I'm all over the place. This was like one of my favorite games of all time as a Thunder fan. Um, SGA snubbed, comes and drops 42 his career high. His previous career high was 33. Like, two... Like, it happened like a month ago, and the first game after he gets snubbed to being an all-star, he drops 42. If that isn't the most Russell Westbrook-type thing I've ever seen from a player that's not Russell Westbrook, then I don't know what the hell is. Because the fact that SGA came out, got snubbed, and was like, alright, I'll just drop my career, I'll show everyone else what they're missing, is amazing. 10 of 11 from the free throw line, the Spurs could not stop him. And DeJounte Murray was on him. One of the better guard defenders in the entire NBA was on him. They were sending double teams at him, and he, he just couldn't be stopped. He was unreal we only scored 102 points and he had 42 of them but yeah he's not an all-star i'm wearing the shea jersey right now i've got this i've got my dort jersey also in my hands i couldn't decide which one to wear for this video i had to go with the shea one because he dropped his career high um but the dort one's gonna hang over my shoulder for the rest of the video now I, i'm going nuts i cannot believe that game that was unreal and I, I'm going to keep this video short because my internet is awful and it's going to take an hour to upload this if it's any longer than like five, six-ish minutes. But this was an unreal game. Uh, shout out to the Spurs. I love their young core. DeJounte Murray is so good. I tweeted out earlier that he is one of my favorite young players in the league. I love watching him play. I think he's not talked about enough in conversations, but I can't praise the Spurs too much because, man, I'm just... Baisley was not good today. Baisley really struggled. He shot 0 for 8 from the field, 0 for three from three. Uh, he, he had 10 boards, so that was cool of him. Uh, he very much struggled, though, but the team was just strong. Also, yeah, DeJounte Murray had 27, nine and six. He was unstoppable. He was amazing tonight, uh, but that does not matter. Also, I want to give a shout out to Mark Dagnall, who, Mark, so if you don't know, our rotation is Shea plays the whole first quarter and comes in around the five minute mark of the second quarter. Same thing in the second half, plays the whole third quarter, comes in around the five minute mark in the fourth quarter. He just, he just put, Shea played the whole third quarter and he just subbed him and he just left him in for the fourth quarter. He just left him in. And he ends up coming out for like uh, like a couple minutes, and he came back in with like eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Mark's like, all right, Shay, go prove them wrong. Just go ball. And, oh my god, my computer is lagging now. Sorry if that video just lagged real quick. I don't know what just happened. Um, man, I don't know what else to say. Uh, Shout Teo, he had a 3-3-3 game. Uh, Mike Muscala hit a three. It was just like... No one scored much other than Shea, and then Dort hit the game winner. Like, that was the story of the night. I, if you look at the box score, I don't know how we won this game. It, we just also played great defense on the Spurs. This team is so much better when Al Horford does on the court. Hell, LaMarcus Aldridge, the Thunder killer. If you don't watch Thunder games, you don't pay attention. Every time we play LaMarcus Aldridge, he drops like 7,800 points on us. Tonight, he only had 11, 3 of 10 shooting. Al Horford is the greatest center of all time. That's all you need to know. Um... I, I'm pretty sure everyone in my apartment complex, if you don't know, I live in an apartment. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone in my apartment complex just heard me scream and like throw things and just, yeah, I'm pretty sure my window's open still. Uh, um, so everyone outside also probably heard me scream when Dort hit that game winner. Every time SGA scored a bucket, I was going insane. You probably, you could see me on the timeline. I don't think I've tweeted in anything other than all caps for the past hour and a half. Uh, I love being a Thunder fan. This team's really fun to watch. And I, 
if you don't believe that Shea is an all-star caliber player now, then you you just need to stop watching basketball. I'm not saying he had to make the all-star game over all those other people because there were some really talented players, but the, he is an all-star caliber player. And I firmly believe SGA because he's 22 years old. He's 22 and he's doing stuff like this. I firmly believe SGA can be the number one option on a championship team when he's in his prime. A hundred percent. Like I'm, I'm not. I. I, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Uh, Dort was incredible. I'm saying the exact same things over and over. Um, yeah, I'll just end this video then because I have nothing else to say pretty much. Um, SGA is a star. He He's going to be a superstar one day. Um, if you're not on the hype train yet, you better get on it now. Um, and if, if you're watching my videos, you're probably already on the hype train. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about all I'm going to say. Um, so I'll see you guys later and thunder up.